All right, I said it's possible to money condition your mind. Because I'm money conditioned by mind. By right thinking and right giving. I never had a financial problem since. I'm, letting, I, I'm saying this to let you know that, you know, I'm not just up here talking theory to you folks. I wouldn't come down here this time of night to waste my time and yours. Or we could be in the Blue Angel somewhere. <laughs> Drinking of the wine, wine, wine. <laughs> Go and hear some of this mess. Some of you go to hear every week. You do better in the Blue Angel. <laughs> Wherever that is, I, that's, I never saw one of those in New York. But anyway. <laughs> the Blue Angel. I've money conditioned my mind. You can money condition your mind so that your mind becomes a magnet to draw money to you and to draw you to money. Just like you formerly couldn't help from being broke, you'll be so you couldn't help from drawing money. What a fix. As a matter of fact, you can condition your mind to anything. As a matter of fact, your mind is conditioned. Everybody's mind is conditioned and the conditions in your life represents the conditioning in your mind I want you to write that down and let's put it in the first person The conditions in my life represent the conditioning in my mind Let's say it together and write it The conditions in my life represent the conditioning in my mind And you see some of you need to do some mental reconditioning And, and you know, really, that's what this, this ministry is all about, mental reconditioning. And people asking, and there's Reverend Ike on that old mind science. Well, what did the apostle say? Be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. What is that pure mental reconditioning? And you all still going around here trying to get the Holy Ghost. And some of you, you, some of you have already got it, and God knows you've got it because it ain't got you. <laughs> but you see, this thing that I'm talking about, it'll get you. And you learn how to control that which controls you. <laughs> it's a shame for, for people to sit up in church all of their days and warm the pews and never learn how to use their minds. Because here again, this is what Jesus was all about, pure mind science. What did Jesus say? According to your faith, so be it unto you. According to your belief, according to your belief about yourself, what? So be it unto you. You've got to do something with your mind. Be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. It means get a new idea about yourself and money. All right, how do you zero in on money? Let's talk about that a little bit. You focus your mind correctly upon the idea of money. And the right thought about money draws money. I, I'm going to have you repeat this and write it. The right thought about money draws money. Come on. The right thought about money draws money. I'm going to put two words, unto me, on the end of that. Come on and say it with your hands and voices. You see, and uh, you know, you have to be definite and positive. You don't want it just to draw money. You want it to draw it where? Unto me. <laughs> Come on, let's say it. The right thought about money draws money unto me. Now, I want you people to be balanced in your thought about money, and I'm always telling you that you are to have money, but not let money have you. It doesn't matter how much money you have. 
as long as you don't let money have you. Money is supposed to serve you. You're not supposed to serve money. The right attitude about money draws money unto me. Together, the right <laughs> attitude about money draws money unto me. And the average person has the wrongest attitude about money. They want it and at the same time just shove it away from them. The only way for you not to have money is for you to shove it away from you. You know, but I, I don't shove it away from me. I know, not me. But. Every time you say things like, money's hard to get, you're pushing it away. The money is saying, behold, I stand at the door and knock. And you're saying it's hard to get. <laughs> money is scarce. I know better. Money is not scarce. Be quiet and listen now, and I'm going to rub some off on you over there, honey. <laughs> some people have a money rejection complex, as I call it. Money's tight. I can't hold any money. I can't keep any money. You are pushing it away from you. You're resisting it. Oh, I sure wish I had me some more money, but money is so hard to get. And I'm always amazed to see really how much money there is in this world. There's more money than, than anybody needs. And as I've said, those of you who are going to Los Angeles, I want you to do one thing. For God's sake, just take a ride down Wiltshire Boulevard and count the banks. Just open your eyes and see sometimes. I, I remember here, here in New York, when I first came to New York, sometimes I'd see people bringing the money to the bank every day. I remember when I worked in a certain uh, building on 125th Street, and uh, every day there, were, there was a regular routine of some of the same people who would just haul money to the banks. I've watched them unload money. Have you seen them put money on those little dollies out of the truck? And they just load bags of it. People standing there with their pistols out. <laughs> That's right. Hands guards with fingers on the trigger. And they just load money on the street on 125th Street. Hauling it in the bank. Walk down, what is it, some of these banks here in New York City have the vaults in front of the open plate glass window. You see those big vaults? Try to find out the time they put the money in there. Just go and stand there and watch them sometime. Don't get too close. <laughs> I said, my God, look at all of this money. and just open your mind to it. Just open your mind to it and right ideas will come to you so that you will be led into right ways to get some. Every time you see money, just bless it. Every time you see people who have money, bless them. And remember, as I've told you before, whenever you see wealthy people or rich people, bless them. As long as you curse the rich, you'll never be one of them. Bring me a high stool out here. I think I'll sit down a little while. Put it right here. As long as you criticize the rich, you'll never be one of them. As long as you criticize me for being rich, you'll never be rich. And I'll tell you something else that you do. In every time you criticize the rich, you make them richer and you make yourself poorer. Reverend Ike's best-selling Science of Living Study Guide is available now in paperback and digital format. This is the book that has taught millions to use the power of their own thoughts to manifest good health, happiness, love, success, prosperity, and money. Get your copy now and start using your mind to create the life you want. <laughs> 